Now we're on to a game called Film and Theatre Styles. They break into pairs for this. First of all, John and Chris. Can you step forward? I'm going to give them a situation to improvise in in just a second. But first of all, can we have some film or theatre and theatre styles for them to break into? Oh, hang on, you're coming in. Oscar Wilde, come on. Hang on, Hammer Horror, Burke of... Oh, what did I want? Science fiction. What was that? Bonnie and Clyde, Thunderbirds. I think we've done Thunderbirds. Romeo and Juliet. Romeo and Juliet. Is that a style? I mean, that's... <laughs> Why are we bunging a Roman e epic just to uh, beef up that? I think a lot of uh, good, good versions there. But what I'd like you to do is to be a headmaster and pupil. And we're breaking some styles as we get to it. OK? I just wondered, sir, whether I could still do cookery in the fifth. You're Philpot, aren't you? Philpot the... Um... Fill the pot. No, I know your name, sir. Your name is Philpot, isn't it? Yes, it is Philpot. That's yes. right. I never forget a face, you know. I've been at this school now for... Um... <laughs> Oh, God. How You're not answering my question, sir. I asked I'm about sorry, the cookery. I... Never forget a face, but I often forget the questions. Um... You get me in the bedclothes last night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was you. Was that Phil Pot? Yes, of course. Are you listening to the buzzer? Um, no. Burkhoff. Burkhoff? Oh, slit. Still... Come to school. Come in this. Ah. Fix. Flash. Cut of a mother! You may come to straight. my school, you come to school in a Turkish bath manner, you come to school in a market manner, you come to school in my manner in the East End. But have you ever played Adolf Hitler? Don't hit me with your razor whip or I'll hit me with your razor. Adolf Hitler wrote I'm camp, if you don't mind. You're camp and I'm <laughs> on my mother. <laughs> My butter on striker, are you playing in the manner of two deaf actors? <laughs> uh, let's do Hammer Horror. I invited you up here tonight because we've got a rather nice fire in this room and it's very cold and dangerous outside. Do you mind? Excuse me, sir, I was rather wondering why, I, why I'm not allowed to wear any clothes at this school. It seems awful. <laughs> it's so cold here and, and to, if you, that's spooky. What's this? It's a thermometer, isn't it? Oh my God, not the thermometer again, please, sir. Aaron <laughs> Fitch. Roman epic. Are you coming into the capital later on? Well, I am a Roman, really. Although I sound as if I come from Capus Casing. That's okay, I'm from Sparta. <laughs> There's a Sparta Sparta there. There's a Sparta Sparta on the ground. Now, what I want to know from you, young centurion. Yeah? Is what you want to get out of this gladiator school? Is it executive skills or just killing people? There she goes, Pileus. Oh. Is she not a goddess of the night? She certainly is a Pileus. <laughs> 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 Uh, yeah. A bit of Thunderbirds to end. A bit of Thunderbirds to end. Sorry, I just was going for a cigarette. It was sort of automatic. I, I've asked you into the office. I've asked you into the office, Alan, because I want to know why my eyebrows are moving faster than. In a... You're kind of a weirdo, aren't you? Back a minute. I'll come over and see you. Well, why not? <laughs> I don't know if. I don't know if you've, uh, you've ever done Egyptian, Egyptian rap dancing before, but uh, <laughs> I'm just going to go and speak to Virgil. He's the very camp one with a 1966 haircut. Virgil, I'll be back in a minute. Did you know all your brothers were hairdressers? No, no. I'm just going to tie my shoe. I'll be right with Wait, you. What did you call? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Randa. This is the way I've always wanted you, Virgil. <laughs> Right. Um, stay there if you like. <laughs> no, no, carry on. I think, it's, I think my buzzer's got a, got a sore throat this night. Um, I'll give you uh, five points each on that, I think.